today we are going to be spinning a wheel that will decide our weapons armor and accessories against bosses in terraria last time we left off we fought all the pre-hard mode bosses i know it's been a minute since the last episode but let me throw it in right here we get this video to 3k likes we'll be doing another episode but yeah as you can see we got some decent weapons on here i think people are forgetting the whole point of this is that literally i could get any weapon here it could be a goofy one or it could be a really good one a lot of people are mad like hey you're just getting regular regular weapons to fighting bosses that's kind of how it works i'm not gonna sit here spinning the wheel over and over again until i get some funny goofy weapon for content bro it's literally a random wheel that i'm spinning <laughs> so a lot of people were getting that confused in the last episode if you want to go play terraria and go see how it is with a goofy weapon against a boss go ahead and hop on man i think the game's on sale for 4.99 you should be able to afford that but let's get to it let's spin the wheel i'm honestly down for any weapon here including the cannon we're gonna be fighting the queen slime first oh this is a weapon i straight up have like never touched since like early 1.3 maybe even 1.2 if that's when it came out but boom there's our weapon all right we got our armors here all of these i would be fine with even the molten armor has got decent defense for early hard mode not fine with the pro wood armor quote unquote hard mode armor let's see uh, the ore armors, if we land on them, we'll probably just use the respective class that I'm using. So, boom, we landed on Mithril. So, that means I'm going to be using the Mage set or the Mage helmet, hood, whatever it's called. Cool. All right, now we are on to the accessory wheel. I have changed this rule here. Starting with no accessories. I am starting at 400 health because by the time you reach hard mode, you probably have 400 health. But the rule with the accessories here, I'm starting with no default ones in game, but I'm going to spin this wheel three times, which means I can either end up with some S tier good gear or I can end up with a bunch of goofy stuff, AKA how randomly spinning a wheel could work. Let's see what we get here. We even got some mounts in here that can help out or not help out who knows we'll see first spin got very close to the stool and beautiful terra spark boots these are the only boots i have on here <laughs> i probably should have added more than one but we got lucky so i'm gonna remove that boom let's spin it again let's hope for some wings i'm hoping for like decent movement that's the best i could ask for okay wait triple jump I'll, I'll take a triple jump if I don't get wings. All right, boom, removed the, what was it? The triple jump. Let's see what we get for our last item. Some wings? This is going to be too easy in terms of movement. You love to see it. All right, we're in the beautiful T mod loader 1.4. I got my weapon, godly life drain. We got some potions. We got fish. Delicious. We got our accessories. We got our armor. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. The only thing I forgot was the spawner. Oops. You know what? I'll spawn it manually. Bam. Queen slime against the godly drain. Let's see how it is. So I should have like decent life steal. Uh, if anything, I do actually got to kill the little minions just so I could get my hands on some mana, obviously, because I didn't give myself any mana potions. Usually don't need them. Even when I play mages, I usually don't craft mana potions until like late game, unless I'm playing like, you know, a harder difficulty. But yeah, this weapon right here, straight up, rarely use it. Uh, I don't remember if it used to be good back then or if it got better recently. No idea. Maybe, maybe they didn't even touch it at all. Don't keep up with every weapon, surprisingly. But yeah, it's a decent weapon in terms of uh, it does give you lifesteal, a little bit of lifesteal, which is uh, pretty good. You know, lifesteal on anything in any game usually is a good thing just because you know life steal in any video games usually op take for example the og specter armor you know what happened poo damn strong they said we gotta nerf that hold up we gotta nerf that understandable but at the same time i do like when i play single player games that have like exploits glitches and stuff that don't get patched makes them a lot more fun but at the same time it's understandable that they nerf things here and there i always talk about it in some streams but i'm like this there be times where really logic be patching things that like does not need to be patched uh one example i always bring up is like the damn i'm taking a lot of damage one example i always bring up is the uh that bug with the jousting lance or the lance weapons where you could get like hyper speed and do like a million damage. Don't know why they removed that. What harm was there in removing that or leaving that in? Cause it was such a cool buck. And it's not like many people are gonna be touching lances outside of that bug if we're being 100% honest. Maybe the few handful, maybe someone in the comments, you're about to be like, hey, gamers, I touch lances. That sounds kind of weird. But you may be like, I touch lances. Yeah, you're a part of that handful, all five of you. All right, I'm running out of mana. 
low key a problem. Uh, she does do decent contact damage, so like me taking damage actually is a little dangerous. Have I haven't really fought the Queen Slime too many times, if I'm being a hundred percent honest. So I have not learned all the moves of this fight. Uh, luckily for us, we are playing in just normal, I believe. Yeah, or else I probably would have got clapped. I need some mana mana is a big problem right now okay i need to stop taking damage yeah i could 100 percent lose this fight if i can't get my hands on some mana oh my god i just killed that thing and didn't drop mana one thing about the queen sound fight is like this is like an insane amount of projectiles for a usual terraria boss fight there's mana down here i need to snag it there we go snagged it boss fight is almost over i just need a little bit more mana just a little bit there we go and that should end the fight with that amount of mana yes sir all right so we're gonna be fighting the twins next let's go ahead and spin the wheel see what we get i was thinking maybe when we get to the later later hard mode bosses we might get two weapons on the wheel maybe but look at this we're using the toxic heart hopefully that's what it's called because i haven't used this thing in a minute cool another this is a ranged weapon or is this a mage weapon i don't even know the armors are pretty much the same except for i threw titanium in there let's see what we get first mech boss give me something decent please why <laughs> why i really suck at the twins fight too twins is probably my worst mech boss fight so get in a you know, low, low set low tier armor i mean at least it's not the pro wood this is a guaranteed loss if i get that probably I'm gonna need the accessories here to carry me and or mounts a flying mount would probably be not too bad wings again okay good start honestly now if we could pair that with the terra spark boots you know it would just be a beautiful combo yet again maybe even a dash no stool please okay we are getting not a mount we get some little little iframes or not even iframes we well maybe iframes but we do get some stars and bees too no no iframes i don't know why i kept on saying iframes i forgot to remove it whatever it's fine let it stay on the wheel we won't land on it twice or maybe no we won't land on it twice we do get the balloons again what the heck why do i i got like the two same items let's get it game ridders worst mechanical boss versus pre-hard mode armor and a toxic carp the toxic carp is actually kind of nice a lot of the fishing weapons are actually kind of nice i'm just too lazy to go fish them out of the water plain and simple it's understandable you know you fish a million times in video games you kind of don't want to do it anymore unless it's got a fun mini game even stardew valley's a mini game i'd be getting bored of sometimes fishing in video games just isn't fun unless you like doing boring mundane things then i guess you know that's for you but like most of the time the fishing video game is like really similar to other games or there is no mini game and you just wait for your bobber to move and then they'll be having those fishing mini games that be like too hard or fishing mechanics that are too hard not even worth fishing yeah this fight is not going the worst the toxic carp is a decent weapon here and i'm hoping that uh no i don't know what i'm hoping for i'm not really hoping for anything i'll try and do my best to kill one eye first you know the, the usual strategy wasn't really picking or choosing which one to kill just spaz you know he's the one that's gonna hit the most so i guess i go for him i'm not gonna lie it's a little hard to hit them sometimes if they're not like dashing i feel like it's it's a little bit hard to hit them because uh you know this thing doesn't really like home in at all i don't think kind of just shoot the bubbles and then they just kind of like stay there or float up yeah they float up this is what it looks like so maybe it'd be good if i like shot them downwards when they're not dashing at me but when they are dashing at me maybe i should shoot at them directly all right spaz has officially transformed let's play it careful now as i run out of flight our our movement is actually like not bad at all for not having boots our flight movement is really not that bad uh i feel like just we got really good wings okay let's not jump jump into the fire please yeah the rest of the fight shouldn't be too bad once we get rid of spaz I honestly prefer the transform version of Spaz compared to the regular one because, you know, he's a little bit more aggressive, meaning that I could be a little bit more aggressive in landing shots. I might mess around here and turn Retinazer into uh, his second form just because he's kind of getting caught in the crossfire. Not much I could do about that. All right. Retinazer has officially hopped in second form. Ooh, right as I kill Spaz. Nice. Perfect timing, honestly. The rest of the fight shouldn't be too bad. I'll probably just skip to the end. And just like that, Renes are dead, the twins both dead. Nice, wasn't that bad. You know, gives me more respect for the Toxic Heart. All right, the Destroyer is up next. We got some okay penetration weapons. We'll see what happens with what we land on. You know what would be fun? If we land on those mines, 
they're on the opposite side we're not landing on them man i really wanted like the dribbler crippler or the mines even the clinger staff maybe but you know we got to deal with what we get the armor is pretty much the same probably won't add hollowed armor until maybe skeletron and maybe after skeletron we'll see oh titanium at a mad tight see now that is what i like to see we go from nearly the worst armor to one of the best we can get right now probably won't be changing the accessories until we get after the mech bosses let's see what we land on a mount a dash i'll take either and it's a dash nice what else can we add to the dash some wings would be nice maybe even a double jump oh some fish wings fin wings we don't use these too often main reasons because you got to fish for them or you got to get them through angler quests which involves fishing and what is our last accessory go ahead just give me the stool i know you want to give me the stool uh, oh it was kind of close to the stool we get some frog hands let's get it destroyer versus flying knife i have a decent setup here so i i hope for the best uh okay i don't know actually about decent setup i mean at least it penetrates but it's a little it's a little uh i don't know it's a little not accurate i guess is what i could say god damn i'm getting gunned down i'm already at half health like it's a flying knife but like it flies around a little too much i know that's the whole point of it but like look at it i'm having a little trouble let me see let me get the right mouse pattern here and maybe that'll help out a lot god damn i'm getting lasered literally you know one thing i always focus on or try to you know focus on is the probes because you know the probes really put in a lot of damage and also these lasers so watch out for the lasers anything that's shooting lasers at you watch out one thing you definitely don't want to get hit by is the head of the destroyer uh so i'm gonna try my best to avoid that i might actually touch the body here wait oh great gliding didn't actually get hit by the body let me pick up some of the hearts oh i don't know if we got hit by the head because i think i took damage right before it hit us kind of giving me like clicker class of vibes here because like gotta use my mouse so much just minus the clicking thank god minus the clicking the worst part about the clicker class is actually having to click <laughs> i do have a slight complaint about the flying knife don't know if it's a bug or a feature or maybe it's omni swing but i noticed that it literally like disappears after a while it's like a yo-yo like i'm casting a yo-yo it eventually goes away and i gotta recast it because it's done it like two or three times now in this fight and i'm not appreciating it. oh i have a dash i forgot i had a dash <laughs> see i like when he goes horizontal like that and then i can get these like nice sweeping knife attacks look at this he doesn't even need to go horizontal i just need to get the right mouse pattern going on you know the nice mouse motion going back and forth here we go here we go that should be some good damage i might also take some good damage too though oh i think he just got hit by a star love to see it that that might help out a lot that might have taken off a good chunk of health we're about to get a potion so i'm not too worried about my health i am getting assaulted by probes though right now but other than that i think we're chilling the fight is pretty much done beautiful that's definitely the first time i've really ever used the flying knife in a boss fight like i might have messed around with it in the past but like i don't think i've ever used it for a boss fight kind of the whole point of this series is to you know check out some weapons i've never used before against some of these bosses all right skeletron the last of the mech bosses let's see what beautiful weapon we get down for anything honestly at this point the dribbler crippler oh yes been wanting to use this weapon never used it before honestly haven't used a lot lot of these weapons for bosses probably like 70 percent of them let's get it though i'm hyped for this one hollowed armor has officially joined the armors let's see what we get please don't give me the pro word please don't give me the pro word we're good we're good adamantite again okay i'll take it classic armor set can't go wrong with it. accessories again you know some wings would be nice just some sort of mobility i don't really care what the mobility is just some sort of mobility that might be a good start getting a flying mount nice but that is officially one less accessory don't give me wings now i i this is the time i don't want wings okay and then give me wings <laughs> that's messed up well i mean i don't have to be on the mount 24 7 but i am gonna try and use the mount don't give me another mount thank you that's fine i will take that let's get it fighting skeletron with the dribbler crippler let me hop on my pigron which is definitely a mount i do not use like at all you know theme of the series things i don't use at all if i'm not feeling the mount though i might have to hop off we'll see what happens 
No, I do have the choice of wings. If I didn't get the choice of wings, no, I'd probably sit on the mountain the whole time. It's just a little slow. Like, the verticality speed, not bad. The horizontal speed, absolutely terrible, as you can see. I'm barely moving around horizontally. And I don't know if it's because I don't have boots or if this is just a slow-ass horizontal mount. Like, it picks up speed, as you can see. Like, it's got the potential to pick up speed. But, like... I'm not going to be fighting this boss on the ground. I mean, I guess I can. So I'm noticing with the Drippler Crippler, we do indeed have a little projectile. Very nice. Might have to, you know, do a 1.4 flail run on stream at some point in the future. We'll see, though. Don't really be playing Terraria that much if you can't tell by the other content I've been posting. Literally, the Terraria clone series is me just not playing Terraria. <laughs> yeah, Skeletron, this is probably going to be a long fight. He's not doing, like, that much damage to me, so this might just be a really long, drawn-out fight. Because I'm not doing too much damage to him. It might just be a lot of jump cutting until the fight is over, honestly. All right, so from fighting Skeletron here, I I've learned a little bit about flails. Uh, these new type of flails. I guess pretty much the old type when you're attacking regularly. But uh, flails, you know, it matters about, like, reaching that max range not even that max range but like a good range to where the flail hits it a couple of times going back and forth you see if i just start really far you know it might hit it once or twice but if i could get like the perfect hit you know i might be able to get a triple tap in there or if i really want to be daring we could go like this this is definitely one thing the 1.4 flails are better at is they could do a little bit more damage than the og flails if you want to be ballsy and get in close against skeletron like this you know kind of works Kind of does decent damage. <laughs> Another strategy I was doing against them was literally just clicking once and spamming the projectiles. This is what I was doing. It's nice to like get above him and do it when he's like spinning because you can hit like all his arms and stuff. So some of the, there were some of the strats I was using with the flails. Or I guess with this flail. But yeah, another mech boss complete. I think let's take on one more boss before we end off this episode all right we are fighting plantera i believe this shall be our last fight for this episode let's see what weapon we get down with anything like always most of the time the banana ring really <laughs> all right we're gonna get five banana rings and we're just gonna be tossing them out we got our armors here hopefully i land on a decent melee set that's what i'm hoping chlorophyte that is actually fire I will take it. I know I said I would change the accessories. Barely touched them. <laughs> Didn't really feel like touching them. They're good enough. We've been getting the job done with them. Don't need too much. I am kind of tired of getting these bundles of balloons. I'm not going to lie. I've gotten the bundle of balloons, what, three out of five times now? Three out of six times, however many bosses we fought. Terra Spark boots, though. No complaint we're getting these. I got no complaint. Last accessory and or mount. Probably won't even touch the mount at all, if, if I'm being honest. Unless maybe the queen slime mount. It was trying to give me the stool. At least we got a new mount. I will take it. I meant to say accessory. I don't know why I said mount. All right, I'm interested to see how this goes. Let's get it. No wings against Plantera. No, I don't know. <laughs> good movement. Oh my God, and our range is kind of terrible. I got to get fairly close. It's all good. It's still looking good in terms of damage. Like we do have chlorified armor on. We should be chilling. We got decent mobility. I shouldn't be upset about our mobility. We can at least go vertically and horizontally fairly fast. But you know how it is. Wings are just great movement. You really can't go wrong with wings. And wow, this fight is looking pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't be down here where all the balls are bouncing. No, I'm not trying to get no balls in my face. Unless it's from the homies. But yeah, other than that, the fight is going pretty good. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot worse. It's going pretty good. Let's uh, not go down there. Wow, you saw the verticality I was moving with right there? That was kind of clean. I am a little bit worried about just getting hit by her uh, tentacles and stuff right now. You can see, look, her hooks are hitting me. But other than that... I think I could really keep the uh, other things away, you know, throwing out like how many boomerangs? We throw out like five, I think, maximum, maybe 10, which is really nice about the banana ring. And wow, that was easy as hell. I did not think it was going to be that easy. What the heck? <laughs> maybe i've been sleeping on the banana ring all my life but yeah that's gonna be the end of this episode make sure y'all hit the 3k like go for the next one i think what we're gonna do we're gonna finish off fighting you know the remaining bosses whatever is remaining left we'll see about invasions i don't know if i'll do any invasions but after that i think we do a little spin-off either with some modded weapons or maybe 
we do a spinoff and get super crazy with the weapon selections. I'm talking about all goofy weapons. Weapons that you would probably not use 99% of the time you play Terraria. At least not in a regular playthrough. That might be a spinoff episode. Maybe we'll do that next. Maybe we'll do that next. Shoot. Get this video to 4,000 likes. We'll do the goofy spinoff episode. We'll go back, fight some more pre-hard mode bosses. Even some hard mode ones. With just all goofy selections. But yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying this little series. I'll see y'all next time.